Kirby Birch and I'm with the Department of Community Affairs here in Queen Anne's County and we're here today to talk about an upcoming event. It's the Chester Y Foundation's 37th annual Thomas J. Ewing Dinner Auction. That's a mouthful. And um, I have Wheeler Baker and Bobby and Nash here. And before we get into the event itself, we're going to get a little history about the Chester Y, what it is, because a lot of people in the county might not realize what a great gem we have here with that. So welcome. Thank you. Um, so give us a little history here. Well, thank you, Deb. I'm happy to be here because I believe that the people that live in our county, especially those who have moved here in the last decade or so, mm -hmm need to be educated on what the great work that this center does in Graysonville. Definitely. And we're fortunate to have with us the founder here on the right, Bobby Ann Nash. So not saying any more, she knows more than I do. <laughs> Go ahead, Bob. But I will tell you, I remember reading in the 60s when her son was born uh, with a problem, she made a statement in the paper, what am I going to do with my son? So you take it from there. Well, my son has Down syndrome and Chipper and everybody who comes through our plant farm have met Chip. In 1969, uh, some volunteers got together and decided, uh, we all had babies, but for some reason, we decided that the adults were being neglected. So we got together and we were going to do a workshop. Well, that didn't materialize, but we cleaned down an awful lot of buildings as volunteers. Mm -hmm. And then we went to uh, the White House restaurant, was uh, vacant, and Dr. Harry Rhodes rented it to us for $1. We had to totally remodel that building, scrub it, clean it. It was all done by volunteers. Uh, we were we didn't have any money. All the materials were from uh, local people. Uh, the Bay, second Bay Bridge was being built. Uh, they brought us a big metal building and uh, they sandblasted it. We, we ran a rubbish sale out of that building every Friday to pay the electric telephone bill. We were really broke, but we were so determined that we were gonna do this. We were all volunteers. And we worked very, very hard. Now, from the White House restaurant, we went to uh, the Board of Education and loaned us another uh, building in Graysonville for a dollar. I was worried, how in the world we move there? <laughs> All these guys showed up with trucks and moved that whole building. So many exciting things happened to us. And reading my notes last night, I read where I wrote, I don't think there's a soul on Ken Island that hasn't offered help or gave us some money. Wonderful. And I teared up because that was the truth at that time. Mm -hmm. And then from there, Dr. Harry Rhodes came on, and we built the uh, what is the now considered our new building. It was it was built in two sections, the first section. But we had an awfully lot of good people to uh, do us, and we were very willing to work. And, and oh, and I should have mentioned the homes. Even our first home was special because no one else was doing a private home. And to furnish it, we went to yard sales and picked up and furniture. Fun. My husband has hauled a truckload of furniture. <laughs> I mean, a tractor trailer load of furniture. But we had goals. But it's been put to good use. We had goals, and, and we did it. So that's what it is today. And, of course, Wheeler came on. So. It's been interesting, I can tell you. And, yeah. and for those that don't know, tell everybody exactly where you're located at. On Cemetery Lane in Graysonville. Okay. If you turn in, it's it's the blue and white building. I don't want to say the, yeah, it's there. Okay. <laughs> uh, and it houses, uh, I think it's 68 now, and 100 employees. Wow. Yes, we had we had That's nine people incredible. and two employees in the beginning. Okay. And and do people um, is it is it day a day setting? Do you have overnight facilities? We have both. We okay. have a day program and we have nine homes. Okay. Wow. Yes. And we'll explain to you about the homes. So that's under the foundation. Okay. They have taken care of all that. So through the foundation, give us a... a well, the foundation was put together in 82. Okay. And the, the main function of the foundation was, of course, to generate... We had to build up a corpus of money. Right. But was to support the center when they had capital needs not operational, but mm -hmm. capital. And uh, we've built some homes. And um, as a matter of fact, Dr. Rhodes and myself and uh, a fellow from up here in Centerville designed the first one. I'll never forget that, that was interesting. But uh, we helped build the first center. Mm -hmm. uh, the state gave us a run around, so we built it ourselves. There you go. And then we, uh, then we built the, I think it was seven or eight years ago, we put the addition on, we doubled the size mm -hmm. of it. Yes. And uh, had everybody involved in that. We brought the county helped us. 
The state mm -hmm. helped us. The foundation put money into it. It was a very aggressive project. It's worked out very well. Wonderful. So this um, this dinner that you're having, it's the 37th year, and the money that's raised through this supports the foundation and the Chester Y as a whole. Yes. Um, and we're going to talk a little more about the dinner in um, a little bit. Right now we're going to get into where the where the Chester Y is going in the future. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So now we've done a little switching and I have Deborah Langseth, Langseth did I say that right yes, here, did. who is the new director at the uh, Chester Y and I'm going to let Wheeler give us a little information about you and then you're going to talk about the future and where, where it's heading. So. Uh, Deborah came on board about three months ago Okay. and uh, we stole her from uh, Western Shore Group. Woo. She was tired of the hassle on the Western Shore, and we offered her this position, and thank God she took it because she's very qualified and seems to really enjoy her work and has taken it, hit the ground running, so to speak. And as, as, a, as a director, this is what you want. We don't want a micromanage the place. We want right. somebody that can run it. So with that being said, Deborah, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thanks, Wheeler. Um, I came to Chester Y because... I had been working in a job where I wasn't doing direct support. I wasn't involved with people on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And I really felt like I wanted to be able to support people very directly, be able to, to help staff say, you know what, this is what I want. Right. This is how I want to get there. And I know that we wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for the people we're supporting, and we wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't the staff who are providing those supports on a daily basis. So as Bobby Ann said, we're supporting people during the day in a day program. Some people are working within the center. Some people are volunteering in the community. Some people have jobs in the community. We have another or um, business called Chesvand where we fill vending machines. Oh, okay. And um, so we're, we're really helping people become more involved in the community. And then we do have the nine homes um, where people live and really trying to get folks involved in living in the community, being a part of the community, and we really view this as an opportunity for the community to get to know us. And so what I'm hoping that we're going to be doing is we're going to be involved in the community much more mm -hmm. and kind of as our way, the people that we support them being able to say thank you right P people that we support don't always want to be taking from the community we want to be able to give, to give back them. as yep. well and so I think it's a real important option for us and way for us to really say thanks to the community and as well well and I think I think that by getting out there in the community more people like you said there's a lot of people that have moved here in the last 10 years or so who might not even know that this this facility is there and you right. know it's an opportunity so it's getting the word out by you guys being out there more right. so that's excellent I, I look at it um, my philosophy is but for the grace of God there is I mm. you know it could happen to any of us yep. we could be born with some something wrong with us and I think it's our responsibility as yep. caring Christians to try to help these people you can't turn your back on people need help mm -hmm. and that's it's very gratifying to me, and ev and everybody that helps feels the same way. It's really kind of cool. I mean, I was used to driving race boats and all that crazy stuff, and Dr. Rhodes got me into this, and I, it's been quite a joy, to tell you the truth. Yep. I and isn't it fun to be able to walk down the hall, see people in the community, and there's a smile? Oh, yeah. Right. You're yeah. not going to you're not gonna find a smile that's better than that. Right. You know? And do we have some challenges with people saying, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yes, of course we do. But that's life. I was so, going to say, that happens everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we take people where they are and find out what really is exciting to them and help them build upon that, building on people's strengths. Everybody has strengths. Right. We just need to figure out what they what are. they are and then and highlight then, those. Yes, absolutely. And so that's what brings the smiles of, you know, everybody and the community and we just want to be able to support the community as much as the community has supported us yeah. and we're not going to be able to do it to the same extent but we can sure say thank you and and um one of your one of your um uh 
I don't members. I don't know. One of the people we support. The, one of the people you support. Didn't he just uh, go yes, to the Special indeed. Olympics to the World Games? The in World Los Games. Angeles. I think that's and, right. And he won a gold medal. Correct? He won a gold medal <laughs> in one of his events, and he um, received uh, recognition in two of the other events. But the other very cool thing, the way that that happened, is because Chester Y participates in a training team with Maryland Special Olympics. Right. So every Thursday, there's practice. This bicycle cycling team has practice. And so we're looking to um, look at a swimming team. And oh, expand, expand it. So we're, we're really working okay. with Maryland Special Olympics to see how else we can expand. Oh, how wonderful. Because we want more people involved right. in the community. Right. So, well, that yeah. that's incredible. So, um Again, you're going to be having the um, 37th annual Thomas J. Ewing dinner auction coming up, and um, the benefits from the benef that that benefits the Chester Y. So yeah. all the funds that are raised during the auction will help to benefit that. So, and we're going to talk a little bit about that um, a little later on. Hi, we're here to talk about the Chester Y. Foundation's 37th annual Tom. Thomas J. Ewing Dinner Auction, and it's going to be held on October 9th at 6 o'clock at the Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. And um, I have Wheeler Baker and Deborah Langseth here to talk a little bit about the auction um, and the money that's raised through this goes directly to the Chester Y to help the facility projects and support everyone that's there. So welcome back. Um, tell us a little bit about this auction. Okay, before we get into that, let me... Let me uh Give a little accolade to my late father-in-law, okay. Mr. Thomas Ewing, he had, who had Holly's Restaurant. Uh huh. Um, he's he's the one that donated the land where Chester Y okay. is located, and uh, a lot of this would not have been possible without him. Well, anyhow, his son was on the board, and we were on there together. And Tom and uh, a couple of his buddies got together, and they decided they wanted to have a, a dinner auction. So. They had the first one. I believe the first one was down at Ken Allen Yacht Club. Okay. And his wife got involved. She was up to her ears into it. She helped put it on. My wife was involved. Bobby Ann was involved. A whole, whole lot of them. And it was going along pretty well. Really going along. They were having, everybody was having a ball. But there was this one lady, and I know you want to talk about this cake. <laughs> everybody everybody asks questions about cake. And I'm going to give you my history on the cake. Okay. Because I knew the lady very well because her, her son and I were good friends. And... She didn't have the money to make a large donation, so she baked this black walnut cake and gave it to us. And we thought, well, what am I going to do with a black walnut cake? Well, so we sat off to the side. So that whole evening, we go through this dinner auction, or mm -hmm. you know, trips, and you name it. Right. All kinds of neat stuff. Shotguns, fishing rods, all that kind of stuff. Well, back in the corner with some of, uh, it was Mr. Tommy and my, and my father, and Albert Stanton, a whole bunch of the good old boys sitting back in a corner having a ball. I won't go any farther than that, but I can just tell you they were having fun. <laughs> and the night's going on, and they're back there partying. And next thing you know, we're getting to the end. And here's this black walnut still cake, and they there. still have money in their pocket. So I, Joe Jackson, right by the end, yes. he was the auctioneer. He's holding up his black walnut cake. Lo and behold, 500 bucks. There Goes you go. back to the table. They donated back. So it keeps going back and forth, and uh, the, that night I forget what it brought that night, but at at, at future uh, auctions that cake brought over nine thousand dollars. <laughs> People would keep giving it back, and and it, the same it, lady it, was still making the um, yeah yeah the cake? she's she's gone now. God bless okay. her. She was she was a great woman, but uh, that, that's quite a story. I, I think that's really I, neat. I but the community's been there. They've been they've been when we started this dinner auction, they they, they came out now. We've been to different locations. We started at the uh, Yacht Club, then we went to the Moose, then we went to Annie's, and we outgrew all of them. We went in the last three or four years, we've been down to Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. And um, that's where we'll be October the 9th. Let me throw right. a plug in. Yep. It's $150 a ticket. Okay. We have a silent auction um, for the first hour and a, and a quarter, and then we have dinner. Okay. And then, and this year is going to be different because it's always previously been on Thursday night, which I didn't ever quite understand. But we're going to Friday night. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we've got music. When we get done, we're going, have, we're going to have a man playing a saxophone in the very beginning, the auction. And then we're going to have an oldies band. Nice. Skinny Leg Pete. I've never Skinny. heard him, but it sounds great. 
I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> so everybody's listening to this. You want to have some fun? Join right. us. And um, that's the long and the short of it. And but the, but the auction has been tremendously successful. Well, and I have to say that I, I got to go back to the cake for a minute because um, I know when I was looking on your website, it has the history of the cake and all. And um, now you sell slices of the cake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decided uh, not to, the best thing for us to do at this point was to sell slices. So right. Jerry Pearson, God bless him, he's been involved in this for years. Local plumber down uh-huh. the way. Yep. And he, uh, that's his job. He sells slices for the cake. Uh, that that story alone, <laughs> you know, I think that I, should be in the archive somewhere. I it? I definitely think it should. I just that that fascinated me that this is the cake itself has grown into this where you you know you sell the slices now and. It all benefits a wonderful right. um, organization. So October 9th yep. at the Chesapeake Bay Beach Club, and we have information, contact information up on the web, up on the uh, screen there, so everybody can go and hopefully you'll sell out. Yeah. And um, go and get yourself a piece of uh, the black walnut cake. That's right. <laughs> Enjoy the auction. That's right. Yes. And so thank you for supporting Chester Y. Thank you yeah, both we, for coming Yeah, we appreciate in. this very much. You're welcome. And, and I'm surprised Bobby Ann didn't talk more. Most of the time. She gets her money's worth out of breath of air most of the time. <laughs> she's And for those, she's standing in the background oh, yeah. now. I'm going to pay for that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.